This gallery features the final film that Abbas Karastami directed in his lifetime, Take Me Home, a 2016 short film. This was a place that we really wanted to start the exhibition because it combines his still photography and his interest in cinema. Here he edits together a number of still photographs, over a hundred, mostly shot in southern Italy, with a soccer ball that bounces down those succession of staircases. The soccer ball is actually animated and it creates an M.C. Escher-like impossible geography with a boy dropping the ball at the beginning and then picking it up at the end of the film. Here we see Doors Without Keys, a series of 20 photographs that Abbas Kirstami photographed mostly in his home country of Iran. Doors Without Keys is a really interesting series because of what you don't see. What you don't see are the worlds that exist beyond these doors that you're prevented from entering because of the fictional locks that exist on each of these doors. This is a work about censorship, but it's also a very immersive series of photographs thanks to the soundtrack that plays as you navigate these series of back alleys. Now we're in Sleepers, Here's Tommy's first video installation work from the year 2001. It was a work that he made for the Venice Biennial. And here we see a couple sleeping as the town around them that we hear but don't see slowly wakes up in the early morning hours. Sleepers was a variation of Andy Warhol's Sleep, which was five hours of somebody sleeping without a soundtrack. In this gallery, we see Abbas Kiarostami's 90-minute movie from 2008, Shirin. Shirin is a adaptation of an Iranian poem from the 12th century, Khosrow and Shirin, which is Iran's Romeo and Juliet. In this particular gallery, we see a series of women responding to a film that we never see. They act, they laugh, they cry. We hear the soundtrack, but we never see what they're looking at. And what's unique about this particular installation is that we show a making of documentary beforehand where you will see the director directing the actresses to respond to a movie that doesn't actually exist. In this gallery, we see Abbas Kirstami's great diversity as an artist. In the 1960s, he began as a graphic artist, and by 1970, he had made his first short film, The Bread and Alley, a children's film. At that same time, he illustrated children's books, and in the 1970s, he began designing posters and even credit sequences. Now we're in Regarding Moi or Look at Me, the exhibition centerpiece. This is a series of 50 photographs that Abbas Kiarostami shot in museums as famous as the Louvre and the Museum of Modern Art. And in each of these works, we see original paintings or sculptures that people are standing in front of, and in many cases, looking at. In each of these works, we see a detail that helps us to see the original piece in a new light. We find small details that help connect to the original artworks by such famous people as Botticelli and Van Gogh. 